Hey guys, so what I'm going to show you today is how to use layer masks to cut out logos. Um, it's, it's, this is especially useful for really complex things like uh, if you're going to cut out like human hair or a tree or something like that, you know, something with a lot of irregular edges. It's really useful. But I think it's pretty worth it to easily cut out you know, uh, simple logos. So what I'm going to do is first I need a logo. So I'm going to go to image search. Image search. So let's search target logo. And then most of the time you can already get a PNG which will have the transparency of your logo most of the time but I don't want a PNG because I want to show you guys kind of how to make one yourself. So I'm going to click this one and I'm going to save it as. Now I've already have this logo. Open it in GIMP now. Target logo JPG. So now basically this one doesn't have alpha channel so I'm just going to add that. What you want to do first is make a duplicate of your layer. Now with the copy, you want to make we're going to want to make it black and white, and then we're going to want to invert the colors. Uh, for this one, it'd be easiest to invert the colors because what we want to cut out is already white. So what I'm going to click is colors up here. Then I'm going to click colorize because I forget how to make it monochrome. So then I'm just going to probably just slide the saturation all the way down so it's kind of gray. I'm going to click the colors again. I'm going to click and then I'm going to click levels. You're going to play with these three sliders right here. This one, this one, and this one. And I'm just going to play with these until this logo now is really black and the background is really white. So, you know, something, something like this, probably. Something like that. So I'm gonna hit OK. The the target logo and the word registered trademark thing. They're really pretty black, nice and black, and the background is nice and white. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit colors and I'm going to hit invert. It's going to. That's what I like to see. Now we need this to be the logo part that we want to see. We need to be white, and everything that we're going to want to turn transparent, everything we're going to want to cut out has to be black because when you add a mask it only sees in black and white and it cuts out everything black and keeps everything white so we're going to click on the original layer that's still colored and we're going to right click it and then we're going to pick add layer mask right here click that and now we want white we don't want any of those other stuff, we're going to add it so now your original layer should have two things, it should have the original picture that we had and this just white thing that you can also select and that's the mask and since the mask is entirely white right now if you turn this off we get we still see the white the background that we don't want so now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna copy this and we're gonna click on the mask make sure the mask is selected because you'll see that it turns white uh, and then we're gonna paste it to the mask okay, paste now you need to anchor it. So just click that, and now you'll see that neck in the layer mask little box thing. You have the black and white image. So now if you click on a black and white uh, layer and uh, unview that, you'll see that all the red target logo is still here, but the white background is not. You know, sometimes you gotta work a little bit on it. 
uh, the black and white layer to make sure all the white is gone. But for the most part, this is pretty good for a tutorial. You know, if you're really gonna do it yourself, you might want to work a little harder. So what I'm gonna do now is, most of the time, you will you can either save it if you really want to save it, and you could keep all your layers and stuff. Or you could, if it's already a PNG and not transparent for some reason, you can just override it. Or in this case, I'm just gonna export it as a PNG. But I already have this, so I'm just gonna replace it because it's the same thing, you know, whatever. Export it. And now, honestly, we could close this because we don't need it anymore. But I'm gonna keep it open. So then, what this is useful for now is um, gonna, well, let's open a paint scheme that I already have painted stock cars. Let's see, for some reason, I want to put a Target logo on my GM Goodwrench truck that I, you know, basically a replica of Kevin Harvick's rookie truck, a uh, rookie cup car that is, excuse me, I'm going to open this, and if for some reason I wanted on there, I'm going to file, open as layers, I'm going to go to my logo stuff folder I keep all my logos and my PNGs and stuff. Scroll down, you know, whatever, find it. Target logo PNG, open it, and it's going to open as a new layer, which is really neat. And what's really cool is that now, as you can see, you know, you get the good wrench in the transparency in the middle of the target. You know, you get all that stuff. Well, here are the guides I was talking about in the last video. So now I'm just going to you know, rotate this to where I want it. Whatever. 90. Rotate. And it's a bit too big. So we'll scale that a little bit. And then snap it to the grid. Now, this is one of those cars where I find the grid, the guides, really useful. And you know this one, this JPG would have worked on this if I would put it right there because honestly, it's just all white. It didn't really matter. But say if I really wanted to, you know, draw some crazy designs on the back of this thing, then I wouldn't be able to do it if it was not transparent. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you find this helpful. Keep painting out there. Have fun. Uh, thanks for watching.